Hey guys, this video is overdue and I want to talk about one of the hardest times in my career and my career is really my ministry so it's my vocation which is my purpose so it's just all married. If you're joining for the very first time, my name is Kerry Kagiri. I am a radio presenter on a Christian radio station, Hope FM. It's a station where you listen and live. I also do a health show on Hope TV where you look and live. It's called Health Check. And I'm also on Satan Church Online, which is a platform where we get to do church every day, talk about great topics with some really cool people. So check that out. It's called the talk show on Satan Church Online. But other than that, I have a, a, a huge passion to be able to create content and to create spaces where conversations can happen and these are conversations on life on godliness and uh, so on and so it's such a blessing for me to be able to do that every single day of my life so i don't take it for granted and this is a season that i'm in and i'm excited to serve every single day i also mc events i'm a vocalist i sing in my worship team and i love it well uh, today i want to share like this really hard challenge and i know cdm videos are a drag so i've got to make it really short and sweet and to the point why i had a conviction to do this video is because i did something that i thought i would never ever do um which means again i was self-righteous in some way thinking that i have it all together but clearly i don't so a while back i had um someone send in a prayer request we have a time of prayer and this prayer was really about them being a wife batterer, if that's a word I can use. And for some moment I paused and I was like, wait, what? And in just that one instance, it felt like I, I left the space, I left the station, I, I left that particular space and I had a sitting with Jesus. And Christ used this incident to speak to me. And what happened is Christ told me, this person is coming, confessing their sin, repentant, desiring my love and my forgiveness. And you are out here trying to go ahead and judge them. And Christ told me that I love him. I love this man. And I'm going to accept his apology. And I'm going to forgive him. And he's going to, to, to turn around. Because he has a genuine heart of repentance. And I got out of that days and came back now back into the moment. And I, I just started uh, weeping because I felt for a moment there that I had actually judged him in a sense. I had felt the anger being a woman and being very uh, pro, uh, you know, anti let me say anti domestic violence anti any form of abuse emotional abuse even spiritual abuse i am anti that so when i see that i'm always like the first person to be the forefront and god used that same passion to teach me that he loves this person and i'm just really really humbled i want to encourage you today maybe you look at people around you and you think this person will never change this person can't amount to anything um this is who they are and you you're too saved for for them i want to encourage you to take a step back and number one think about your bank of grace which is that bank of forgiveness that you have been poured for so freely that you have on the sins that you've done and even the ones you're going to commit and you need to understand that they also have that and 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 you need to be more forgiving more accommodating you need to extend grace uh in the book of ephesians chapter 2 uh, this particular verse we share it all the time it is by grace that we are saved through faith it is a gift of god not by work so that no one can boast and as long as we understand that it is a gift of god that it is by grace we are saved through faith in our hearts then you can understand that everybody can get saved and for such people christ came that's why the church is there that's why the body is there and i think we need to to remember where it is god has taken us from Personally, I have many stories and there are many people who look at me like, how can you be the one uh, who does Christian content? Because, you know, I was out there in the club with them. I was out there drinking. I probably messing up with them. Uh, but I'm forgiven. I'm graced by God. And I think with that knowledge, it's easier for me to, to step out of any self-righteous thing. And I, that's why I had that moment with Jesus Christ himself. 
are telling me I love this man. I'm going to tell you this day, Christ loves you so much. And I hope you can know it. Better still, I hope you can experience it for yourself. Thank you for watching this video. I'm Carrie Kagiri. If it encouraged you, please like, share, uh, subscribe to my channel. I know I haven't put out content in such a long, long time. I feel bad about it. But it's seasons and it's life. And, you know, I'm just trying my best. Thank you for watching. Bye.